Welcome to the Still Gender Podcast, Earthlings. This is the show where we will dive into taboo topics and the stuff we didn't learn in school. Here we will talk about actionable tips, tricks, and strategies for the -the out-of-the-box thinkers, dreamers, and weird folks who don't quite fit in with the cultural norms, who just want to live authentically too. No more feeling misunderstood or alone because here we are all a little strange and that is celebrated. I'm talking to you, Misfit, and I am your mother, Misfit, Laura Siljander. So let's start practicing compassion with ourselves and push that love and light out to others. Yeehaw! Let's go. Well, well, welcome back to the Siljander podcast. Yes, you are in the right place if you are a returning listener. The intro sounds different. It's a new season here for the Siljander podcast. Talking more symbolically, not technically season two. I'm not like a Netflix show. But it's a new chapter. It's a new season. And have you ever went back and reflected and thought, you need to upgrade and update a few things because it just doesn't seem like it quite fits. Almost like I live at the beach and so the the sands are shifting and so I gotta find a new place to surf sometimes. So have you ever felt internally that something is different? Something is moving? Sands are shifting within you. You know that something big is coming. You know change is around the corner. I guess the two things in life that you can absolutely bet money on is you're going to die and change. Change is going to happen. So how do we adapt and move and still stay in this place of integrity and authenticity? I guess I'll use the Siljander podcast as a good example. I went back into the archive and listened to my first few episodes. It's almost been a year since I've been podcasting and what a wild ride it has been. But I listened to that girl and I can see, not see, I can hear hints of who she is. However, she's very polished. She's very edited. She's a little bit more serious. And that's not really who I am as a person. I am weird and quirky. And that's what I want to bring to the show. I celebrate that individuality, that authenticity. And so when I went back and listened to my first few episodes, I went, okay, there needs to be a shift and a change because Have you ever started something new? It could be a new job, a new friend group, a new place to live, and you kind of overcompensate a little bit or a lot of it so you can get the lay of the land, you can be taken seriously, you kind of want to fit in, maybe just a little, even though it doesn't feel quite right. I think that's what I was doing. And that's okay because... I truly believe that if you want to try something new, if you want to do something new that really puts yourself out there, then you got to start, even if it's not perfect. Because think about it. When is it absolutely perfect to start the new thing right now? Probably never. Probably never. So you got to start. I had to start, even if it wasn't perfect, even if I was finding my own voice. Now, let's relate this back to you, not the Siljander podcast. Think about a time where there was this new chapter in your life, a new season. Something was new and it intimidated the crud out of you. You were a little bit nervous, a little bit fearful. You weren't quite sure, a little insecure. I mean, we we felt that. Come on. Did you overcompensate a little bit? Were you really being truly authentic? As weird as we all are here, did we hold back our weirdness a little bit so then we can kind of push it in here and there and really give them the full glass of weirdness, but at first you gave them only a few drops just to get the lay of the land? Again, this could be a new class, a new degree, a new job, a new friend group, a new PTA meeting. I don't know. Wherever you went, we all embark on new things, things that change. Now, have you been on that route a little bit and you need to adjust your sales? You need to adjust a few things to really live in that integrity as weird as you are, as strange as you are. Do you need to adjust a few things? Maybe are you feeling a little lonely and misunderstood in a relationship and you need to figure out a way that you can express yourself more authentically to that person or group? 
or maybe bigger scale, maybe even more on a macro scale. Are you looking at your lifestyle and looking at your life and evaluating, are you living in your integrity? Are you living in your authenticity? Are you around your village of misfits? Or are you trying to force yourself into this mold that's not working for you? Are you just going about your days and your weekends, kind of doing the same thing, eating the same thing, doing the same thing, saying the same things? Do you need a kick in the booty? Do you need to switch some things up? I think it's really important as we go through seasons of change, seasons of our lives, to think and reevaluate and to reflect that is our life working for us. Some people believe in reincarnation and some people believe that we're only here once. If you believe in either of those, are you living the way you want to live? Are you wasting your time in a job, in a career, in a relationship, in a college program? Are you wasting your time? Are you living authentically? If you are and you're like, oh yeah, I'm doing the thing, I'm living the thing, and I'm being the thing, well then, but That's awesome. I celebrate that. That is super cool. And I'd love to know how you got there. And if you're re- listening to this and you're kind of thinking, oh man, maybe I do need to reevaluate a few things. Well, then a new chapter, a new season could be approaching. That internal change, that, that gut feeling that you know that something's around the corner and it's going to be big. It's going to be different. It's going to be probably scary. Maybe you're feeling that. Then you have a community of misfits here. You have your village of weirdos who want to support you here. And that's what I'm trying to create here. A village of people who are just trying to live life authentically, compassionately, and to its fullest as much as possible. And to maybe go against the cultural norms and to go against that standard American dream if it doesn't fit for you. So that's what I want to build here, this village where we can ask each other questions, where we can lean in virtually. So I wonder, what is one step that you can do to lean in, to lean into the new, to lean into the reflection if you're already past the new and wondering how you're doing and giving yourself that check-in and allowing yourself to reflect, am I living with integrity? Am I surrounding myself with people who build me up or am I surrounded by people who I'm trying to fit into this funky mold and I feel like a square peg in a circled hole? How does that go? You know what I mean. Are you trying to stuff yourself into a shape that you don't fit into? I'm talking about change, my friends. Change. But let me tell you, it's really, really easy just to stay where you're at. It's really, really easy to just keep on going and living your life and not quite living, though. It's really, really easy. And I have found myself in seasons where I'm just doing that. I found my seasons where I'm just trying to keep my head above water. And I have found seasons of thriving. What season are you in? And how can this village support you? How can the village that you have built around you physically support you? How can you figure this stuff out in your mind? Are you a writer? Are you a painter? Do you work it out through moving your body, through running, swimming, yoga, walking, whatever? How do you figure it out? And if you have no idea how to rationalize things in your mind and reflect in a good way, it's time to start experimenting. A great way is to go outside and go for a walk. Can't go outside? Sometimes I pace around my house. Or, like the really weird person I am, I installed a swing in my house so I can swing and think. Now, not everyone can do that. But what is your way? And if you don't know, start experimenting. Have fun with it. And think outside the box. That's who you are. That's who listens to this show are out-of-the-box thinkers. Think about something funky that you can do to reflect on are you living and surrounding yourself with people, careers, and a lifestyle that you believe brings you fulfillment and you're grounded in your integrity and authenticity. All right, so be compassionate with this, folks. This are some big questions, life questions to ask your sales. So lean into that compassion, practice that compassion with yourself, and then spread that love and light to somebody else. I will talk with you next week. I hope you like this new season of the Syllogander podcast. Share it with a friend if you like it. Share it with a weird friend if you like it. And reach out to me if you'd like. You know how to get in touch. Shalom, y'all. Oh, you're still here. 
If you want a little bit more, feel free to follow me on Instagram at practice underscore compassion or check me out on my website, laurasiljander.com. Meow!